Welcome, everyone, to episode four of Pro Player Plays PGA Tour 2K21. Uh, I play professional golf for a living, but I also love designing in this course designer. And in this series, we just finished, ba uh, basically finished hole one of uh, this new kind of seaside inspired course. And um, hole one isn't, it's not completely done. There's some things I don't like about it. <laughs> First of all, these tee boxes aren't flat. Um, that's something we've got to fix. But there's a couple other things like the way that the bunker interacts with the fairway. I just don't like these little knobs. Uh, but that's not what we're going to focus on today. We're, we're going to deal with all those little detailed things in a future episode. But what I really want to get into today is actually after we finish hole one, I want to start getting a plan down for hole number two, our <laughs> shining star of a second hole, that sun going right into the face. And this is kind of where I want to focus today. I want to get a plan down. I'm definitely not going to get any planting done or any kind of uh, serious detail work, but I want to go through and I want to come up with how I want this hole to really play and how I want it to feel. And I've got some ideas cooking for what I want to do, but before we can get into any of that, I first need to go in and I need to change up the lighting on this hole a little bit. Um, I, I know we kind of planted it with this lighting in mind and I don't really want to change too much of the lighting, but I just want to get it so that um, the sun isn't shining right into the player's face on that hole. That, that wouldn't be very fun. It, it could happen in real life, but I mean, this is a video game. We just, we want it to look good for the people who are playing it. So I, I think this looks pretty good. It doesn't really shine directly into the face playing hole one, and it gets it out of the face on hole two, which I think is gonna look really good. So I'm happy with that. And um, now that we've got that completed, I am going to take on the dreaded PGA Tour 2K21 retaining walls for this hole. I think that this is an excellent spot where you could have a retaining walled par three kind of out on the ocean with these kind of, this kind of planting around it to where you don't want the green to fall into the ocean or to get pulled away by the tide. So you would definitely see a retaining wall type of structure on a hole that kind of pokes out into the sea. And I think this is going to be a great hole for it. I'm <laughs> a little nervous if I'm up to the task to work with these retaining walls. It's very hard to make them look good in this game. I've very rarely seen them done well. There are some that have done well, but um, I'm going to try my hand at it. And it could go disastrously wrong. It could go exactly the way I want to, but uh, that all remains to be seen. So let's hop right into it here. I think the very first thing that I want to do is go through and flatten the edges of this so that I can get a really clean slate to work with. So I'm going to hop in and I'm going to flatten all of this land that goes around the ocean. So I will do that now. Okay, we've got it nice and flattened here for the most part. There's a little bit sticking up. That's okay. We just have a general idea of how it looks. It already looks a lot cleaner just by doing that. So I think that's a really essential step. So now I want to get in and I want to think about how I want this hole to look. I'm going to do a lot more planning of this screen than I did on this screen, especially with putting in a, a retaining wall. I think 
it's going to be very important that we have a very clear-cut plan of how we want this whole how we want this green rather to look and how we want it to play so from here i'm gonna have the bunker come into this area and then have the green behind it perched on top of a retaining wall kind structure so let's kind of plan out how we want this to look so i'm going to draw my 20 by 20 grid and i think i'm going to start it here so we've got that there and then we have we do it we have plenty of room here okay this is good so that's going to be how it kind of sits and i really like that let's try and draw out a green that slopes kind of from left to right or it it goes from left to right and let's see what kind of shape we can come up with and if we like it or not that looks not so bad especially for a green that is it should be a pretty large green considering it's up against the ocean 27 yards that's not terribly long and 20 yards wide that's pretty decent i think this is going to be a good green uh a good green shape and now let's get into how i'm going to do this my plan here is to raise this up using this really sharp circular tool and i'm going to raise it up let's let's do three feet first kind of get it up in the air and i think i think how this is really going to work is if i don't let it if i don't let the retaining wall interact with the water i think that's really where it uh it, it fails is when it interacts with that gray surface and you just you can hardly deal with um all of the gray kind of textures that come in with it like this o this ocean texture right here it gets into the retaining wall and i think it looks terrible and so i'm going to try to avoid that as best as possible uh the other thing i'm going to do is i'm going to extend out this area that I'd like to have a retaining wall on. Now I'm kind of I'm kind of winging this. I I don't know exactly if this is going to go well or not. So you're, we're we're all along for the ride here. You'll we'll see if this works out. But I want to make the area where this is going to be a little bit bigger. And I haven't decided. I might put a bunker into this area, but I want to get the retaining wall down first, and then decide from there because I could make it a little collection area as well in the fairway. So now that we have that down, I think what I want to do is start putting in the retaining wall. And this is going to be a tedious process. Any of you that have worked with retaining walls before know that this is a lot of placing. I like to use the small one. It just gives me the most control, I guess. And that's what we're going to go with. So I'm going to start here very close. And I think I'm going to do a width of three to the outside. Uh, meaning I'm going to stack them one there and then kind of one there and then one there. And hopefully that will be the amount needed to, uh, to make this look good. So let's go in and I'm going to start placing retaining wall and hopefully it turns out well we'll see Let, wish me luck everybody here we go
Now, as I'm getting to the end of this here, I want to start thinking about how are the players that are going to play this hole going to get up to the screen. And I've had an idea in my head. I really want there to be a staircase that goes up from this retaining wall area up to the green. And I think a pretty good spot would be somewhere right in this area. So let me place a couple more walls here because I think I want it just a little bit further over. Let's get it this way to where I've kind of got it straight away. And I think I want the stairs to be right in this spot. So let's find our wooden stairs here. Very good, these. And I want it to be pretty much level with the um, uh, with the retaining wall, that is. And that, you know, I that actually looks okay. I think that could be pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that. And I might I might do two. I might do two stairs, double double wide, just to give players playing this hole a good. Um, yeah, I think that looks good. A wide berth to get up to the green. There we go. All right, back into placing some retaining walls. Oh boy. <laughs> well. I maybe okay. Whew, we can do that. Get it back to the same height. All right, here we go. Now we're good. Well, okay. Now that I'm here, I can see that stair is a little bit off, and I just I can't I can't deal with it. <laughs> we're gonna have to um, rip these up. Oh, we might be able to move this one. Let's move this up. I really want them to to nail the height. This is such a tedious little process, but I don't want that little little angle there. Let's see if I can get it. Ooh, I might have gotten it. Ah. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's better than it was. I I, <laughs> I don't know if I can do much better. Oh, I gotta try though. I gotta try. Did I do it? Oh, I might have done it, folks. Oh, does that feel good? Let's see how it looks with that at that yellow line. Oh, you can hardly notice it. Okay, that's what we're going with. Oof. That was that was gonna be bothersome if I couldn't um, get that the right level. So I'm glad we got that. All right, now we can get back to our retaining wall a little bit. Well, as you can see, I missed it by that much. <laughs> but the good news is, is my plan is to kind of have a little bit of planting in that area. So that might be a very logical spot. Well, I'll be able to hide it a little bit. Let, let's, let's finish off the wall with this one. Uh, it's not going to be perfect but it will be complete and I think that that is the main goal anyway. Um, let's you know let's maybe move this one here. Oh we don't we want to move the retaining wall. Now that did the trick. I think that I think that looks really good. A little bit, yeah, okay, we can, we can work with that. All right, there is ring one. Now it's time to go through and do ring two. So let's go in, let's place some more retaining walls, everybody, here we go.
there we go. Ring number two is complete. And now that we have two rings and you can kind of see, see how this is going to start to look. Um, as we're here, there's going to be one more ring, so it'll make that retaining wall a little bit clearer. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to lower the outsides of it so that it really starts to accentuate the retaining wall look that we're going for. Right now it kind of looks like it's dug into the earth and I definitely agree it is, but I think it's going to look really good once we, uh, once we get that third ring of retaining wall in. So let's go in and let's do that right now. Oh, see, now this is a spot where it's getting a little messy. And it's that turn to the right action that is very difficult to do in this game. So I'm going to go, here, here's how I'm going to work around it. I'm going to put this here. And then I'm just going to sneak another one in here. And just kind of hope that nobody... <laughs> Nobody looks too hard at that spot. If we can get away with that, it should be no problem. So let's put this here. And then we're just going to need to find a way to connect this retaining wall here to this corner. You know what? I think that's actually going to work out. Now we just we just got to sneak in a little bit more retaining wall. And, you know, that doesn't look too bad. It's not great, but when you're dealing with these retaining walls, yeah, that's just about all you can do. I, I don't see how else I can avoid that. So we're just going to keep going here. All right, now we have all the sides done. It's, yeah, it doesn't look terrible. Um, there's definitely gonna be some planting around here to hide some of the, some of the funkiness. I, I definitely wanna fix this up as well. Um, I want, I don't want there any grass sticking through the through the stairs. There might just have to be some though. I don't know if we're going to be able to fix it. Oh, there we go. We got it out. Okay. Good, good. Now, let's go through and let's put some of these bunkers in that are going to be surrounding this retaining wall. And it's not a big retaining wall, but it's enough that um, you wouldn't want to be short. You wouldn't want to be... I'm going to take all of this grass out right here. But first, let's put in the bunkers just so that we know how this is all going to work. Now we have that in, it's going to really start to frame up the hole a little bit. I'm going to go through and I'm going to add my heavy rough as well. 
just on the outsides, just so that we know what this is all going to look like. It's more just for my viewing sake as I do this. There we go. Okay. Now let's go through and let's start to lower. Well, actually, you know what? Let's first put in the green. Because I, I noticed that I'm a little off here, and I think it's going to be okay. I think that's fine. It's not going to be exactly how I splined it out with the measure tool. But I think we're going to still be able to get a pretty good shape with it. So let's, let's do some of the splining here. We went back to that uh, that path I just used for the bunker, which is not going to quite work. There we go. That looks a little better. Let's smooth it and fill it. And now we've got a green. That is fitting inside the confines of this retaining wall structure we've built. So let's go through and let's put heavy rough all around here. We don't want any of that nasty, uh, that nasty gray grass kind of getting into here. And I think this is looking all right. It's staying away from the retaining wall, which I think is very important. Yeah, I think this is okay. Let, let's raise this up just a little bit more. And when I say raise it, I'm gonna flatten it with this tool just so that it gets a little bit closer to the retaining wall. I think that helped. That helped a little bit. All right. And now comes the part where I start to flatten some of this on the outside. So let's get this close and see how low we can drop all of this without affecting our green. So see, we have this thing here. Let's undo that and let's see how it's affected the green. Not much, and that's good. I, I, I'm i pleased by that. So let's go in and do this again. Make sure that our green isn't getting affected at all with everything that we're taking out of it. And I think that looks not so bad. now we can kind of taper this into the ocean a little bit now that we have it all lowered. So let's go in and do that now as well. Make sure we're get make sure we're getting that water in there close to it but not quite interacting with the retaining wall. We definitely want water to get closer though. So let's let's maybe use this tool. This isn't as sharp as the other one, but I think it's going to help lower this all down. Let's see if this is going to affect the green at all. Not too much. I know that we've got this big, um, this big valley there, but the other thing to remember as I go about this is that we've got all of this planting that's going to nestle up right up against some of this retaining wall feature. And another thing is when you have these retaining wall features in this part of the country, oftentimes they don't actually go into the water like you, you normally imagine it when you see like a TPC sawgrass hole 17. You'll see the retaining walls go all the way into the water. And a lot of the times when you see a place like this, you get it at high tide or low tide and you've got this retaining wall here and then it goes all the way down into where the water is. And it's not entirely uncommon to see something like that. So I think that that actually doesn't look too bad. I'd like to keep going around this, uh, around the retaining wall here just so that we get um, that effect all the way around the screen. We really, uh, we don't want it to be level. We want it to be underwater. So we go there, 
I don't think it's affected this too much. Nope, not from what I can tell. I think it's looking pretty good. The other thing that we can do if we really want, and I'm hesitant to do this, because I really want it, um, I want this to do it on its own, is raise the water level. And if you plant enough around it, it's not going to impact it so much. It'll probably be okay. Um, and what I mean by that is to use the create water tool and go through and raise the water up around this green in this area just to let's try it out i'm not committing to this at all i know i'm putting this on youtube so <laughs> people are going to know that this is what i've done but i don't know that you could necessarily even tell that the water was this high well maybe you could Interesting, interesting. Depending on the planting that's done here. But this is going to really bring in the brown. Well, you know what? It didn't do it that much. Yeah, it's kind of voided. The areas I, would con I was concerned would... Um, would make it, make it brown, that is. Sorry, I'm kind of lost in thought as I think about what I want to do here. I think I don't hate that. It sticks out on the ocean nicely. Let, let's get rid of these measure tools. I think those are kind of obstructing our view. Let's just clear all of them. And I, I've left myself a little room here to put a bunker in, which I do, I do think I'm going to do that now. I think that is going to be a... Uh, a nice little touch to this hole but if you're sitting here let, let's play this hole and kind of see how it looks I'm not set on this yardage either this is a little long for a hole that's gonna be cozied up against the ocean like this and you know what it doesn't look it doesn't look so bad it, it's we're a little far away so we can't quite tell what we're looking at but this doesn't look terrible hit a perfect but I pulled it Ooh. okay well you can you can chip it from here I found out that's good news I like that okay so now let's go back in and let's touch up some of these areas where I know I'm gonna have bunker because I'm definitely going to have this bunker run right up to the edge of this retaining wall. You know, actually first, I think the right idea is to get the splined section of where I want the cart path to go. And I want it to kind of go in here. And, and when I say the splined cart path, I'm talking about, I, I'm using bunkers on this course. If you're just now watching the series, I'm using bunkers as the means of transportation for the golf carts and um these splines this is going to be where i want the cart to go here and then i'll kind of waste bunker around it so i think it could be cool to have the bunker path kind of go here and then meet up with this one let's see how that looks so that's going to be where the bunker goes that gets up to the green and i think that looks good now let's kind of add some waste bunkery elements to this. Uh, I think I really want this to be bunker in front of this, uh, in, in front of this retaining wall. Let's place that and hope it doesn't get quite into... Yeah, it did, that did a pretty good job of it, of not getting up onto the, uh, the green surface. Very good. And that's kind of the look we're going for, is this bunker goes up to the retaining wall, 
but doesn't get onto this side of the retaining wall. Let's see if I can get even closer. I think we can. I think we're going to be able to get this bunker all the way in. Oh, this yeah, this this is what I was hoping would happen, and I'm I'm glad it is. I'm glad I wasn't misguided <laughs> in my um in, in my plan for how this was gonna look. So you get the bunker that comes straight up to this. It doesn't get onto the upper upper shelf where the green is. Now we can just go through and we can really tidy this up with that knowledge in mind. We can really put these bunkers in. I think this is going to be an awesome looking, awesome looking hole. All right, we can't get the bunker any closer to the water, which is understandable. There we go. So now we've got the bunker interacting with this little grass area and the water right there. I don't know if I'm going to leave that. I think for now I'm going to leave it. And normally I don't like this tearing. But honestly, it looks pretty natural. Almost as though the the sand has been blown up, blown into the retaining wall or, or that, or it's been pushed there uh, by raking. I think that actually looks really good. And I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, let's finish up this as well. This interaction with the... Just had my phone go off. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but staying in the video now because I'm in the middle of placing this bunker I think it's gonna look really good having this bunker come up to these stairs well we, we got to do something about that that does not look good we're gonna have to flatten this a little bit and make it match with the bunker I know this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge because the bunkers tend to self-level. We might have to do some planting around this to make it work. It's getting closer. We're probably going to have to do a little bit of planting just in this area to, to kind of hide this. Well, you know what? think we did it again. I keep surprising myself in this episode <laughs> with doing things I didn't think I was going to be able to do, but it seems like we've done it. And let's put a little heavy rough here just to just to show that this is the edge of what we're de dealing with here. To finish it off, I think I'm going to do a little bit of the waste bunkering here. And I'm just going to go through kind of the same way we did near, near hole one. And I'm just going to go through and I'm going to spin this brush around and I'm really going to try and create that waste bunker feel all the way on this left side. And see, now we have a whole bunch of areas that we're going to be able to plant in here. And I think that that is starting to really come together. It's really... The contrast between this wooden retaining wall and the bunker, I think, is what's really turning this hole into into something nice. I don't, I won't say that I'm completely in love with the retaining wall, but for this game, you almost just have to take what it gives you. You know, you can't try and force making these retaining walls look really good because they just have that same texture. I will say there's one thing that I need to change. It's this, that stairway is sticking out just a little too far. So we're gonna, we're gonna touch that up. Let's move this retaining wall here. And let's get it, let's get it connected here. Because that is, that's a detail that we just gotta have right. Now we gotta do these other ones as well. That's okay. I'd rather move it than have that edge be off. So this is no problem for me. We go here. And then for the final one, let's just make sure that that is lined up correctly. I know there's a little bit of grass there, but I don't think you're going to notice it in the grand scheme of all of this. So now 
I think we're going to call it there for the episode. I don't want to get into any planning, planting. I, I'm going to save that for the next one. But let me know what you guys think if I should change up this retaining wall in some way. Uh, I know right now it looks pretty bare bones, but I think with the planting I'm planning for it, it's going to really come together nicely. And I'm excited to get this water kind of masked as well. I think that you're not going to be able to notice the water is this high once we uh, once we get some of the plants and stuff in there. So that should be no problem at all. Um, yeah, and then I'm thinking for a tree line right here, and I'm really excited for it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think we got a lot of good work done today, and I'm excited to get in and make this whole match hole one. And I think we could have a couple of really nice opening holes as our start here. So I'm very excited. I hope you guys are too. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Have a great day, everyone.